Hey guys, welcome back. This is the last episode from my trip to uh, Burma. Now Yangon is the capital of Myanmar. It's a very special place for me because I was born here. And this is my first time back ever since I left the place. What is that to do in Rangoon? Uh, not much, I suppose. Well, I guess like if you are into architecturing, then you might be able to find some um, buildings from the colonial days. And traffic is pretty bad here, uh, just like any other Asian countries. A lot of new shopping malls are being built. Yeah, that should make things a lot more interesting. Now for us, we only wanted to go to one place and that is the Golden Pagoda. So we decided to walk from our hotel all the way to the pagoda, which was like a half an hour walk. You could always take a cab, but then again. I don't really consider myself to be a YouTuber, um, a reviewer or anything. In a lot of our videos, um, you don't get to see us talking in great length about, for example, the lens or the camera or even the place. So generally, this is how it goes. This is Burma. And these are the clips that I took during the trip. End of story. Personally, I don't like to discuss about photography. Like, oh, there's a new camera coming out, you know, whether I should get it or not. I mean, think about it. There are almost new cameras coming out almost every month. Well, the decision making is pretty simple. I mean, number one is like, you know, can I afford it? Number two is, do I need it? Uh, number three, do I want it? And if the answers are all oh, yes, then by all means, just go out and get it. We are heading out to Japan in um, early May. So how do we come up with a decision of go heading out to Japan? Can we afford it? Uh, that's a tricky question. We need to work. But do we need it? The answer is definitely yes. We need to take a break from all the hectics. And lastly, do we want it? Oh, hell yeah. We seek to find balance in our daily lives. We try to spend at least like an hour or so every day um, doing yoga. A lot of our friends do not believe, you know, we are pretty busy every day because they just assume that, oh, it's an online shop. All you do is, you know, ship the items out and that's it. Really, if only life was that simple. <laughs> I mean, seriously, running your own business is 24 seven to be more precise. It's fun, it's very satisfying, but at the same time, it's really stressful. All right, let's stop with this business talk. Uh, let's get back to the photography. For this video, I wanted to focus more on the still shots, more so than the videos. I want to learn how to curate the photos and present these still shots in a video. So here it goes. Let me know what you think. Now the duration for each image is approximately one second. So what do you guys think? Um, do you find it too long, too short? Let me know. Now for this trip to Burma, both Kame and I, we took a lot of photos and videos, both in film, digital shots, as well as video clips. And we tried not to be too stingy by using a lot of these images in our video. The following set of images are taken by the X-Band using the CineSteel 800. So guys, what do you think happened here? Don't blame the camera, don't blame the film. The hotel that we stayed in Yangon, they have this uh, security check where you had to walk through this x-ray scanner and we believe this is the cause of it. Oh well, at least now we know what a damaged film from the x-ray looks like. So we're not complaining, it's a good learning experience for us. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye.